standing, clapping, laughing, dancing in the blackness of magic. Get it, have it, bag it, throw yourself on the airplane and fly like magic. No sleep, no chance. Hi everyone, it's Sky here at Sound Attack, the famous drum shop in the UK. I'm here with Andrea from Crystal Fires. We're going to show you what he's playing and uh, what heads he's using, what kit he's using. The symbols are amazing, so check it out. Nothing else but us right now. Right, I've got a uh, Sonor kit, uh, it's a delight, I do believe. We've got a 20 by 16 bass drum, 10 by 9, 12 by 10, 14 by 14. Then we've got a 14 by 4.5 Pro Light as well, Sonor. And I've got a, a Duelist snare drum, it's carbon fiber, which is a little beauty. It's a custom made, it's really, really nice. We've got uh, Sabian cymbals. We've got a 18 Legacy Crash from the HHX series. I think it's uh, Dave Weckl's signature, I can't remember. But. Then we've got a uh, Ozone, Evolution Ozone Crash, a 16. It's, it's great, it just takes so much hit. Like, it just feels like you're never gonna break it. Just there, constantly, on your right, it's great. Then you've got a... Um, Heavy Ride Legacy 22, which I did put three rivets, but one seems to be missing. <laughs> but, you know, still sounds good. Then we've got a uh, 19 inches uh, Fierce Crash. I think it's a Jojo Mayer. Yeah. So, I don't think, yeah. Then we've got a, uh, I'm not sure the diameter of this, I think an eight. Yeah, it says eight. An eight inches uh, Chopper. It's just great, really, really good, really versatile. And then, last but not least, we've got Legacy 14 inches. And it's so dry and nice, it's just really, really good. Head-wise, I've been using G14s, Evans all over it. G14s on Tom, butter and then EC Resonant, I think they call it, yeah, EC Resonant on the Tom as a resonant. Then both snare, they have a Genera Dry, which is the uh, single ply with the vents, the holes, and uh, it's been great, because I don't really have to muffle it, because there's, there's no ping, so it's, there's a lot more to play with it, and uh, I just find it really good. And the um, 200, I think they call it. Yeah, the thinner one. Oh, sorry, no, I've got a 400, yeah. Let's have a look, because I changed it recently. I've got a 500, dig. Oh, that's right, because I changed to 500 because I wanted to tune it higher, but I was getting really pingy, so to keep that mid pitch down, I use a thicker snare, which is what I do for the toms as well. That's why I keep G14 here, because I can actually crank them up and it still doesn't go over tones and it doesn't quite overtake. And then general dry as well here with the um, same 500 in the bottom. And this is tuned quite low, this is more of a uh, effecty, snarey, yeah, more like more like 80 kind of. So we've got the uh, Dualist D4 pedal, which is a single double, double single, single double. Yeah, which has got a switch and you turn it into double. And then you lock in, and then he's got a single one, which is great, like big endings, but you don't have to have a double pedal on that side, so. And then I've got this beautiful BC Gigster. Yeah. On my right, I don't know if you can see it. And the throne, which is great. I don't have to use a sub on stage, and it's amazing. Just with in-ears and that, uh, I can, every kick, I can feel it vibrating into my skull, in a good way, though, not like, you know, it's really, really good. The kick is the first thing you miss when you're on big stages. You just you have to dig in, dig in, dig in, and then it sounds horrible. You know, when you start really put a lot of strength in your in your kick. I'm more I'm more of a guy that uh, hit and release, kind of let it let it sound, let it breathe. And more in certain occasions, obviously, but yeah. Um, and it's it's just been working out really, really good. Then I've got. Vator sticks. I use the Fusion, which is a, um, I think it's a 5A, yeah, 5A with a round tip, which is, I found there's a lot more definitions. So it 
feels like having it's like a nylon tape but not quite as harsh. So there's a lot more definition than the, uh, what do you call it, Akern uh, uh, tip. I've got this lovely custom made protection racket bag, which I use it for traveling and touring, which is great. Because it's a normal symbol bag, the Deluxe 22, I think it is. And then they integrate, because uh, every time it's like, oh, you, you, sir, you're only allowed one hand luggage. It's like, yeah, but I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the stick bag inside. Does, does it really matter? Like, ah. So anyway, after troubles and troubles, I asked Dean a protection racket. And, and he came out with this and it's just great, working out great, loads of rooms. And it's great. Yeah, good old Dean, good lad. And you'll see your drum mat as well? Drum mat as well, yes. Yeah, which is the smallest version, which yeah. I fit perfectly fine so far. <laughs> of everly increasing uh, drum set. Am I missing something? No, I think we covered it all. Tell me out of that one again Yeah, like we gave ourselves the band